select the tag, put your cursor inside the tag, select it from the bottom left, bottom left of your screen. This is your tag selector. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Now, I don't need this to say wrapper branding, wrapper site nav, wrapper main content. I'm going to make this less specific and simply make a rule for branding. Now, dialog boxes. Don't be intimidated by dialog boxes. Dialog boxes communicate with you. Now, unless this dialog box is in Portuguese, which I don't speak, then you have a problem. This dialog box, like, like most dialog boxes, are in point old simple English. Don't be intimidated. Just get to know the dialog box. Basically, ask yourself, based on these choices, based on these choices, what do I want to do? So based on these choices, we're going to go to the category of box select the height the height of 150 pixels now i don't have to set the width that's redundant the width basically is the width of the parent tag which was 900 pixels so i don't have to put in 900 pixels that'd be stupid to do it that way or incorrect i should say now i want my padding to have 10 pixels of padding very important step here if i hit the apply option right now this is no longer 150 pixels high this is 150 pixels high plus 10 pixels on the top 10 pixels on the bottom i don't want it to be 170 pixels i want it to be 150 pixels so i simply minus 20 pixels minus 20 pixels 20 from the top 20 from the left i don't have to minus the width because you can't minus nothing from nothing i hit the apply option there's my padding right here so I have a branding tag that's padded. It's 130 pixels plus 10 and 10. So technically the height is 150 pixels. Hit OK. Make a change. Save a change. Next we go to site nav. Select the site nav tag. Select the tag. Make rule. Select the tag. Make rule. So let's say site nav. Site nav is going to be 150 pixels wide by, let's, let's figure this out. The height of the wrapper is 650. So it's 650 minus the branding tag, which was 150. Therefore, the leftover space is 500 minus the footer. We're going to put the footer in here too. So this is minus 25 pixels. That's my starting parameters, 150 by 475 with five pixels of padding. So what do I have to do with these numbers? Minus, minus 10 pixels for the left and right, minus, minus, 10 pixels for the top and bottom. Now, if I hit the apply option right now, it's going to kick the main content down to the bottom. We don't want it to do that. So this site nav has to float to the left. By floating to the left, content goes to its right. By floating to the right, content goes to the left. We're gonna float this to the left, so content goes to the right. Make a change, save a change. Make a change, save a change. Next, we're going to do main content. Select the div, create the rule. Select the div, create a rule. Main content, main content is going to be, let's think about this. It's going to be the width, which is 900 pixels, minus the site nav, which is 150. Okay, minus Google Edge, which is going to be 200 pixels. So that's minus 200 pixels. So this is our main content. The height to get is going to be 650 minus 150 for the site nav and minus 25 pixels for the footer. Therefore, my starting main content is 550 by 475 with, I'm going to pick a wacky number, 33 pixels of padding. So I minus 66 pixels from the width and I minus 66 pixels from the height and I float this to the left. There's my main content. Make a change, save a change. Notice I'm working with the title document. Most people that show you things on YouTube work in untitled document. That's bad training. That's bad information that they're passing on to you. I teach you correct information. So Google Ads, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Okay, Google Ads, less specific. So Google Ads is going to be, it's going to be 200 pixels wide. Now we're not gonna do the height for this. We're just gonna do 200 pixels wide because that's how much room you add. And we're gonna put in 10 pixels of padding. So we need to minus, minus 
20 pixels. Now we could float this to the left as well, but just because we can, we're gonna float this to the right. Floating it to the left, we put it in the same exact place, but we're gonna to choose to float this to the right. I'll explain that later. So I hit the apply option. Google Ads is now floated to the right. Command and save, make a change, save a change. The final tag that we're gonna to put together is the footer tag. Footer tag, select the div, select the tag, select the tag, make the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. So this is going to be wrapper footer. Now footer is gonna be different. Footer is going to have nine pixels up type. Footer is gonna be white type because footer is gonna be on a black background, black category black background. Now I'm going to share with you a little trick here. I want my type to vertically top and bottom, vertically top and bottom being the center of my footer div tag. So I'm going to make my line height 25 pixels. This will put it vertically in the center. Then I'm going to go to category block and align the text to the center. So this will be vertically aligned to the center and horizontally aligned to the center. Next, I'm going to go to my box category, I'm sorry, yes, box category, my mistake. Now if I hit the apply option, wacky crazy things happen because the footer doesn't understand that the site nav and the main content and the Google ad div is there because it has a float on it. So it can't see things that have a float. So we need to clear the two floats above it. So I have a left float and I have a right float above the footer tag based on these choices, that box choices, based on these choices, I'm gonna basically clear both the left float and the right float, hit the apply option, and there's my final page. Make a change, save a change. Now I successfully created wrapper tag, branding tag, site nav, main content, Google ads, footer. Now all I have to do is move it my furniture and we're done. Simple, simple, simple. I didn't have to look at code. I didn't have to see code. It's that simple. If you're taught the simple way, you can learn the simple way. Most people try to confuse the holy heck out of you.